What's up Concussion Army, it's Fred Jones here. Today we are breaking the fourth wall to see if Samster can go an entire video without making a drug joke. Let's get- What the- God freaking dang it. My camera just died, stupid piece of crap. Like boy can I not wait to eat this mc- Fred, you just knocked out Shaggy with that camera. Like I gave a crap. That just means we'll have more food for a little while. Anyways, I'm going to play some Fortnite in my room now, so you'd better not bug me. Ugh, sounds like I'm about to get knocked out to buy a flying Xbox controller. Time to get on and wreck some noobs. <laughs> OMG Fred, are you seriously thinking you're going to win at Fortnite? I mean seriously, every time you play it, all I hear is you raging and complaining that people keep killing you. For frick's sake Daphne. Just go away. Man, I'm so going to film it this time and get tons of views on TikTok. This is going to be hilarious. If you do that, then I will smash your phone into a thousand pieces. What an insufferable piece of crap. Well, back to what I was doing. Man, I'm actually doing really good this time. Wait, no, god freaking dang it. How dare this piece of crap kill me. I thought I actually had a good chance at winning. Are you freaking kidding me Daphne? Stop recording right now. No. It's going to be so hilarious to put this on TikTok and watch tons of people make fun of you. That's it. Give me your phone. Hey. OMG OMG you just smashed my phone. You thought I was joking? Hell no. That's what you get for trying to humiliate me. How am I going to survive without my phone? Now I can constantly brag on social media about how beautiful I am and how awesome my life is. Why? Shut up. Two hours later. Holy crap! I might actually get the win this time. I I don't play this game anymore. Honestly, I. Second place. Are you freaking kidding me? Second place. I thought I was for sure going to win and then this idiot appears out of nowhere and kills me. I have been playing this game for over two freaking hours and I haven't gotten a single win for frick's sake. You know what? I think the developers of Fortnite need to be taught a lesson for making such an infuriatingly hard game. Time to go to the Epic Games headquarters and give everyone their concussion. Gray on How dare you pieces of crap make such an impossibly hard game. What game are you talking about sir? Fortnite obviously. I played for over two freaking hours and I couldn't even get one win. What's worse, I even got to second place once and thought I had the win for sure, and then someone killed me out of nowhere. I swear, this game is so freaking rigged. Sir, it's very possible to win at Fortnite. I've done it dozens of times. If the game was really near impossible, more people would be complaining about it. You just need to practice more and then you'll get a win more often. Are you calling me trash? Um, no, all I'm saying is you need to get better at the game and then- You're saying I'm bad at the game. That's it. I've had enough of you pieces of crap and your impossible game that you're trying to gaslight me into believing isn't hard and I'm just bad at it. It's concussion time for everyone in this freaking building. Concussion time? Does that mean you're going to give us all concussions? What do you think, you idiot? Now prepare to be knocked out. Hey, 
Has anyone seen Fred anywhere? Like no, I haven't. I haven't seen him in a while either. Same here. The last I heard him, he was raging in his room over not being able to win at Fortnite and talking about teaching the developers a lesson for making the game too hard. Oh no, if that's true, then according to my calculations, there is a 99.94782842843% chance that he's at the Epic Games headquarters right now giving everyone a concussion. Well, if that's the case, then the news might be covering it right now. Why don't we change the channel and check? Okay. Breaking news. The Epic Games headquarters has just been attacked by Go City's notorious Fred Jones, also known as the Concussion Beast. I will now turn over to James, who has more information live at the scene. So yeah. I am currently outside the Epic Games headquarters in North Carolina where it seems that every single person inside has been given a concussion. Most have been knocked out, and there are people being wheeled out on stretchers as I speak. So far, there have not been any confirmed deaths. Police and paramedics are still searching the building for more people. As for Mr. Jones's motive, he drove off before police could question him, but not before yelling. That's what those idiots get for making Fortnite impossible to win. Back to you, Susan. Thanks, James. Indeed, it would appear that Jones committed this mass assault over not being able to win at Fortnite, one of Epic Games' most popular releases. Why am I not surprised he did this? Well, it is Fred after all. <laughs> did you guys see what I just did on the news? Yes, we did. And I can't believe you're laughing about it. You've just put tons of people in the hospital, and who knows if everyone will make it. Oh come on, it's just a little concussion. Those pieces of crap deserved it anyway for making such a rigged game. <laughs> okay, this is unacceptable. We need to hold Fred accountable for his actions. I agree. Like I don't know. This is the Go Animate universe, so even if someone dies, they'll just respawn anyway. Like I don't think it's worth getting concussions ourselves over. Yeah, I'm with Shaggy on this one. Just let Fred do whatever the frick he wants. It's more entertaining that way anyway. Well, you guys can suit yourselves. I'm calling the cops on him though. Like they probably already know, but okay. Ma, we're not gonna do anything. What? Why? Because we've tried everything we could think of to detain him and hold him responsible, and nothing works. We totally gave up after the deserted island failed. If you want him to be punished, then you're just going to have to think of something yourself. Bye. Well that's just great. The cops say they gave up on trying to punish him and aren't even going to try to do anything. Haha, <laughs> I knew it. That's just a testament to what an unstoppable beast I am. Alright, then how about we throw out all his be- I told them it wasn't worth the trouble. Hey, what the? Why is Fortnite down all of a sudden? I bet Caillou had something to do with this. Caillou, why on earth is Fortnite down? Why the heck should I know? Well, why the heck shouldn't you? You're the cause of 99.9% .9 of all the problems and inconveniences I face. I know you knew I was playing Fortnite and did something. Fess up already or I'm going to pick up your computer chair and beat you unconscious with it. I didn't do it, okay? Have you considered the possibility that maybe they're just experiencing some technical difficulties over at Epic Games? That's it. Time for the chair beating. <laughs> Serves that bald piece of trash right. Boris, did you hear? Fred just gave the entire Epic Games headquarters a concussion. Oh, I guess it wasn't Caillou. Ha ha, oopsie. Wait. Did you say Fred? Yeah. Apparently he got mad that he couldn't win at the game and wanted to teach the developers a lesson. Dang. On one hand, Fred's my ally, but on the other, no one messes with my Fortnite. I don't want to have to do this, but, as the ultimate grounder, I must. Well Fred, I guess you win. That's right idiots. You should know better than to try and stop the concussion beast. Hey, I wonder if the cops changed their minds. Doubt it. And even if they did, 
I'd find a way to break out of wherever they were holding me as always, Boris. Why do you look so mad? Fred, I really don't want to do this. What are you talking about? You sabotaged my Fortnite. I didn't even know you played Fortnite for frick's sake. What do you think you're going to do about it now anyway? This. You are grounded, 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 grounded for 54984398248943988. For three years, go to your room right now. You can't ground me. Oh no. What is happening? The grounding is too strong. Wow. Like Zedinks, what just happened? Man, what didn't I think of that? Boris is powerful enough to ground anyone and anything, so we should have had him ground Fred all along. Yeah, I can't believe I didn't think of that either. <laughs> Great, now he's screaming. I'm going to go try and shut him up. Fred, shut up. Why the heck are you screaming so loud anyway? I am trying to go Super Saiyan to break out of this grounding. Now leave me alone. Well, I would love it if you were stuck in here, but you have the ability to walk right out of this room, and Boris is gone. What the heck makes you grounded? Well, you see, I am physically unable to walk out of this room. It's like Boris put some sort of magic spell on me or something. Now for the last time, get out and leave me alone or it's concussion time. Could you at least stop screaming though? That's it. You have 5 seconds to get out before I give you the most brutal concussion of your life. 5, 4, 3. Okay, fine. <coughs> Well, that failed. Like I know I said we shouldn't do anything, but the screaming is like so freaking annoying. We've got to get him to be quiet somehow. Hey I've got an idea, Shaggy. You have an unimaginable amount of power right? What if you tap into Ultra Instinct like you did that one time and banish Fred to some other dimension? Like I don't know, the last time I tried that, all of reality got wiped out. I don't want that to happen again. I think it's fine. No matter what happens, everyone and everything just respawns in the next one of these cringe videos, right? Yeah, exactly. I agree with Scooby and Vilma. Give it a try. Like okay, if you guys say so. Here goes nothing. <laughs> Freaking dang it, it's not working. Shaggy, get out of here right now. No. Fred, I have come here to tap into Ultra Instinct once again and banish you to the place of eternal darkness known as the Shadow Realm. I swear to God, if you try and use that one more time on me, I'm going to lock you in my closet again like a freaking SCP and never allow you to leave. Not if I banish you to the Shadow Realm first. Don't you dare you stoop. Like no way. Like holy crap guys it worked. OMG OMG he's actually gone. Dang, this place is some darkness alright. I can't even see my hand in front of me it's so pitch black. For frick's sake, why did that idiot have to banish me here? I'm going to go crazy being stuck in this pitch black void. Ouch. What the heck did I just bump into? Wait, this feels a lot like my table in the garage. Hold on a second. <laughs> <laughs> like what are you doing back here Fred? You know dang well what I'm doing back here. I guess your idea of the shadow realm was the garage with the light turn off. You literally just teleported me there. And what's even funnier is the door to get back in the house wasn't even locked. This was the most hilariously pathetic attempt at a punishment I have ever seen. Like I thought I was actually banishing you to the Shadow Realm. I have no idea why you went to the garage instead. Well, maybe you need to practice with your power a bit more and fine-tune your ability to use it. Good God, enough with this power nonsense. I feel like I'm in some bad enemy. Oh, 
and for trying to punish and get rid of me, it's concussion time for you all.